Well, um, really good win. I'm very, very proud of our team. We um, really did a good job defensively. I thought this was a team that was athletic and long and uh, some really big athletic guards that uh, could present some problems with us, especially when we're big, big. Um, I thought we got a lot of good minutes. I, I thought, uh, obviously, Tony had a very good game offensively, but um, which was a huge key. But I, I thought the key was Kendall Williams. I, I thought the job he did on Thorns uh, made it really difficult for him because Thorns is a terrific player and keeping him off balance uh, most of the night. Uh, Kendall uh, had that assignment most of the night, and, and uh, that's probably as good a defensively uh, that uh, Kendall's been since he's been here, and that's good growth to see. But uh, overall, it was just a terrific win. Well, we needed these two, and we've uh, made some improvement this week, and now it's a very quick turnaround, and uh, we know we got a busy week next week. Yeah, you know, I thought we I did a great job, and we've been a good rebounding team all year, but uh, to hold somebody to three offensive rebounds um, was really, really good. Um, you know, I, I, our board play has been getting better and better, and obviously Drew is somebody that uh, does an awfully good job for us on the boards, but I think everybody that played Dom only got one minute, but everybody that played got a rebound. So, you know, we're doing a good job on the backboard. Was your coach more locking out or just Today it was because of their athleticism. Um, you know, we weren't going to outrun and jump this team. You had to, uh, they're long, they're athletic, they've got good size, and we really wanted to get into them and block them out. And I have to watch the tape, but uh, just from what we viewed live and obviously statistically, it looked like we got, we did a pretty good job with the block out. Well, he, he's a leader for us, and I, and I thought he was a little sluggish in the first half. I, I thought, and he got chewed pretty good, and um, I, I thought the second half, Jamal did the things that we need for him to do. He, he got our tempo going again. We started getting a little stagnant offensively, uh, and that's what happens. And we've told our guys, that's why you've got to condition yourself mentally and physically defensively, because it takes so much effort, and you can't allow the effort at the defensive end then to make you sluggish offensively. And I thought there in the second half when we got up 15, that started to happen. Uh, they pulled it back to within six or seven, and then I thought Jamal gave us a really good boost, got a couple big layups for us, um, and really just kind of up-tempoed what we wanted to do. Yeah, he had a great three right in front of our bench, and, and he's been shooting the ball well. You know, he was he only took one three today, but I think he's getting close to 45 46% on the year from behind the line, so he's done a good job shooting this year. Was that one of those, uh, oh, no, no? No, no, no. He, he knows he's got uh, – you know, as long as they're good shots, we want him shooting the ball. He's a scoring point guard. He's somebody that has shot the ball well for us all year. So as long as they're good shots, Jamal knows he can shoot them. You mentioned Kiki, how they kind of hung around all game. How important was it to start the second half? half on the post? Well, they've made big comebacks. Uh, they were down to Colorado State, uh, came back, took them into double overtime. Uh, they've been down. You know, UNLV shocked them to about a 22 22- 20 to two start, and then it was about even after that. They, they've made good comebacks here. Uh, Air Force and Boise at home. Boise had them down. I think Boise had them down 12 with six, seven, eight minutes to play, and they come back and win that game. So we knew that uh, how explosive they can be, and they started making some threes there in that stretch once we got up 15. So it was a really good credit to our guys that uh, they didn't panic. Uh, we did a good job of in getting a good shot and then getting some stops in there to stop that run. No, I don't think so. Uh, they were we were really intent. Um, you know, Thursday was uh, about a 50 minute, um, pretty tough practice, and then yesterday was might have been as hard as we've gone uh, before any game this year. Uh, we went really hard and intense for about an hour and 10 minutes. Um, so we've stayed on them, and I, I thought they were really focused. Uh, they were, had a great practice yesterday. The, the walk through today at the hotel was really good. So um, I, I think they were very focused. I, I thought uh, you can always tell that. I've always think that you can tell that defensively. And, you know, hold a team to 26 and 28 points. We were really consistent with our defense. Uh, we didn't let anybody – we didn't let their leading scores get going on us. I thought the job we did on, on the, the three guards in particular, Green, Anderson, and Thorns, was a big key to the game. No, 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 no. It's 13 days. We don't quit after seven. Um, there, there's still what I don't I have a calendar in front of me, but there's still uh, a good eight, nine days left of this thing. And uh, and we just, you know, you got to break it down. Uh, we've done this. All, we've done this my whole career, and 
Uh, obviously, since we've been at New Mexico, you try to pair things together. And we thought that you really had to group these four games together uh, because then you get a week off before the second half of the season starts, and we can get them rest. Uh, even if that means next Sunday and Monday, uh, giving them two days off, we've thought about that. But uh, we've got plenty of time to get ready for Wyoming in the second half of the season. Uh, but this is a really difficult stretch. Uh, you play two road games. San Diego State found that out today. Uh, you have to travel to Wyoming, then you fly back to San Diego, then you got to fly uh, back to play Colorado State. The travel got them, and, and then obviously Colorado State playing very well. This is a hard league to win on the road, very hard league to win on the road. And uh, we know that. Air Force is having one of their better years since I've been in the league. Um, they're playing extremely well, and uh, obviously Boise's been awfully close. Um, Wyoming took it to them today, but other than that, Wyoming's been in every game. So, or Boise's been in every game. So we know this is a difficult road test, and we've got to continue to to develop. I think that's always been our key. Each week, try to get better. And we've only had one week. Uh, we've had this thing to 21 games now, and we've had one week that I can really go from Sunday to Sunday and say we didn't get better. Um, and that's, you know, I told the guys that. I'm pretty pleased with that. When you can say that you've only had one week of slippage in college basketball, that's pretty good to date. Well, it just gets us within one game. You know, that stuff's going to happen. Uh, you know, Colorado State's a better basketball team now than they were three years ago. It's a harder road win uh, than it was three years ago. Uh, you know, so we've got that coming in February. So uh, we know those are difficult games to win. And, uh, again, San Diego had brutal travel uh, with just the way it's set up with Wy the Wyoming trip with the problems they had there and then flying back to the West Coast. And um, it's going to be a hard league to go through this unblemished. And... You know, now there's something that's happened other than just San Diego State and UNLV uh, losing to each other. There's something else that's happened. Uh, so that's good because San Diego State still has to go to UNLV. We still have to go to San Diego State. So now we're, we're one, back, one back five games into it. Um, you know, so we're, we're gradually making up some ground. What about the national picture here? Do you think it hurts the league to lose? I could. I, I, I've, I'm not – talented enough to control what other games happen. If I could control San Diego State at Colorado State, I'd, I'd be making three times the money I'm making. I, I just I can't, I can't control that. I can't control what USC does or Arizona State or Washington State. I, you know, we, all we can do is try to get better. And you know, that was a great win for Colorado State. It was a great win uh, from a league standpoint. And if we're, trying to, if we're trying to compete for a league championship, we obviously are not rooting right now for UNLV in San Diego State. Talk about getting better. Where do you see the half-court offense now? What's well, better? We're shooting, we've been shooting the ball well for six, seven weeks. We've had very few games where we haven't shot the ball well. The UNLV game, we turned the ball over 23 times. And the second half of the San Diego State game, we didn't guard. Um, I mean, that's, those have been the two blemishes through about eight weeks of play. So I've been ecstatic about how this team has been developing and getting better and getting tougher. Uh, it was just unfortunate. You know, we're doing it without Hugh. You know, you can see the last two games, a healthy Hugh uh, Greenwood makes all the difference in the world. We take care of the ball. We pass the ball. We move the ball better. We get better shots. He's a strong physical presence defensively. Um, and now he's getting healthy. He's still not 100%. But he's not 50, 60 percent like he was maybe when uh, we tried playing him last week. So hopefully he can, you know, it's a quick turnaround. We don't really get a day off till Wednesday. So we got to get through this Air Force game before we can get him and some others a day off going into the Boise trip. Well, we haven't been there. We, we haven't been there in four games. So I think we were shocked to get to the line and then we couldn't make him. So, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, after getting to the line now, we've been a good foul shooting team. We've been a team that's been right at 71%. Uh, and we just didn't get off to a good start in the first half. And then uh, the second half, um, we didn't get to the line as much. Anything else, Coach? Okay, thank you.